Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Oh boy, howdy do I have an exciting video for you today. Let me tell you, I like to promote a lot of Halo products on this channel, right? Like it's kind of my bread and butter and there's a lot of exciting merchandise brands that like to make Halo products. But this one hits different. The Zoinks Drivable Warthog being shipped under the name Skadoodle. This thing is completely different. I've never seen anything like it. If you guys missed our last video, myself, Yodit, and Kellen sat down to check out the initial images of this warthog. We've also got a great communication line going with the company themselves. And today they've provided us with a lot more information, some behind the scenes videos, some original diagrams and concept art. It's very exciting. And it's, it's, it's even more exciting to just have this kind of connection with a toy company, but also to be able to share this all with you guys. And yes, this Warthog is a Walmart exclusive and it started to drip out into Walmarts. Now, it's a little bit before the official release date, so I think a few Walmarts are putting the Warthog out early, but you can still find it right now and more stock is coming gradually throughout the next few months. And if you want to see this Warthog in your Walmart, fill out the survey in the link down below and the description. That survey has been made by Halo Collector and it asks a few questions to help us gain a general understanding of how many people want this product. We've already had an amazing few hundred people fill out this survey and the more people can fill this out, the more likely we are to get maybe limited edition uh, collector's items of this Warthog, maybe different skins on this Warthog. Like here's the thing, this Warthog is great, but the amount of features is what stands it out as something that I've never seen before, even in like a kid's drivable vehicle scenario, right? Like it breaks the mold. It has infrared sensors on the chest alongside a plasma pistol that can charge up and fire at someone and the warthog literally takes damage on the heads up display we've got in-game sounds removable fuel canisters let me tell you about that gauss turret it rotates round it fires it, it it's it's pretty unbelievable like it doesn't really fire uh whatever a, a gauss cannon fires what is a Gauss cannon fire? What does a Halo Gauss cannon fire? The M68 asynchronous linear induction motor, more commonly known as the M68 Gauss cannon, is a weapon that fires hypervelocity, high density projectiles, similar to those of a magnetic accelerator cannon. Well, I guess well, that's what this warthog is. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm gonna have a look at the videos and photos that Zoinks has sent us today and also the instruction manual. And I can confirm we're going to have two of these at Halo. HCS, the Halo Championship Series final in Seattle from the 22nd to the 24th of this month. And I think if we give this enough support, they'll be stocking a lot more. Like Walmart will be receptive to if the sales are good and if the response on videos like this and posts on our social medias get traction. So make sure to always interact with them and say that you're excited about this Warthog if you are. All right, so checking out these images. First of all, we have some really cute, like promotional material of kids actually using this Warthog. It's, it's adorable. They look like they're having a great time. We also have in-depth pictures of the Warthog itself. Check out the battery, for example. This thing is 12 volts and can reach nine miles per hour, which I, I can barely even. <laughs> it's so insane. It's so great. The Gauss Cannon can actually be held by a passenger in the passenger seat. You can't sit at the back of it because there's not enough room, but you can sit as a passenger, hold the Gauss cannon, and just fire that at your enemies. Like, it's, it's so... It, honestly, just look at the detail on this thing. Like, take a second to really look. The amount of printed detailing on this thing is absurd. Like, I'm so excited to have one of these in person soon. Yeah, those fuel canisters are a nice touch. Very, like, Halo 4 style. I do love it. And then you can see the pedal there to accelerate. And yes, this thing does have in-game voice sound from the weapon. Even the windshield looks crisp and clean and the antenna at the back. Four of those fuel canisters. Ah, I wonder if you can actually take the lid off those and fill them with something. We could have one with Mountain Dew Baja Blast. <laughs> One with Mountain Dew Code Red, and one with simple old Mountain Dew. I also wonder how long uh, the battery lasts as well. It's fascinating. So we've got an on-off switch there, nice and simple. And then we've got to look at the little tactical pad and the plasma pistol. Now, to be honest, this is kind of what gets me the most excited about this release. The Warthog is phenomenal, don't get me wrong. The weapons are the thing that we can utilize the most. Like, they could make 
every Halo weapon. In infrared as well, like if you had a lot of different, like if you had a machine gun turret, you had an assault rifle, you had a plasma pistol, plasma rifle, you could have an amazing time running around with those infrared tack pads. And uh, yeah, just, 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 just having a good old time. The plasma pistol is only just the beginning, but the plasma pistol does look quite good quality as well. The tack pad, a closer look there, flashes when it's uh, been fired upon, as I'll show in a video in a little bit. And the plasma pistol, good paint apps, honestly, like uh, not so bad. It definitely has a lot of different layering to it, a lot of leveling. It's not just a flat thing. It comes across very nicely, and I think it takes uh, three AAA batteries, as I remember. It's sort of like the size of the bottom of the seat. It's, it's actually a good size, I would say. You can shift to either forward or reverse, high and low. It's pretty cool uh, you actually have a physical stick for the Warthog. Again, it's just like a huge attention to detail. And then that Gauss cannon, like the fact that you can see that coil running inside the grill is is just a really exceptional uh, level of detail. It is kind of funny that it's a Halo Infinite vehicle. I saw some comments about this. It is a Halo Infinite vehicle branded as one, but the Gauss Hog is not in Halo Infinite, but there is a lot of evidence that the Gauss Hog was meant to be in Halo Infinite. So I wouldn't be surprised if Zoinks had been told it was gonna be in Halo Infinite, that it was scrapped at the last minute because there is a playable, like, the blocky version of the Gauss Hog that's in the files of the game. And it wouldn't be the first thing. I mean, Mega Constructs released the Skiff Intercept and that wasn't even in the game. It was just a piece of rubble on the side of the road. So very strange how that works. Besides, a Gauss cannon makes more sense for an infrared targeting system like doo, doo. You know, that's kind of more of a Gauss cannon instead of a uh, chain gun. Zoinks was able to put together a 3D model of this Warthog to show us. And the images just look so dope. Like it looks so clean, so fresh and glossed over. I, I absolutely love so it. So take a look at the images of this 3D model. They are badass. Amazing, amazing. I'm particularly impressed with all of the printed detailing on the uh, the body of the Warthog. The step, the lines, the UNSC, particularly those uh, little lines, they're so uh, damaged, they're so worn, like it really gives a great feel to it. I imagine if you uh, took this through some mud, it would look like such a, a well-battered Warthog. Yeah, amazing. Uh, thank you to Zoinks for providing us with those 3D images. Incredible. So now we're gonna have a look at the actual videos that Zoinks has sent us. Let's check them out. All right, so it's great to see an actual uh, pan around of the vehicle. The glossy effect makes light shine off the surfaces really nicely. Like it's, it's such a clean design. I can't even believe, like, I really can't believe this is real. I don't know if I'm overreacting. I don't think I am. Like I genuinely can't believe this is real. You've got that infrared sensor looks uh, kind of forerunner-esque. And then the plasma pistol looks really clean. Yep. You turn it on with two switches it seems. And then we've got all these different buttons. Great, we've got a horn of course. I'm detecting banished activity not far away from us. Might be worth a look. Heads up! Standing by for pickup. Switch in between gears. The driving actually sounds like a warthog as well, and it's cool that there is actually a battery indicator light as well as it gets uh, lower. They could have skipped out on a lot of these things, but they really put in the effort. The Gauss cannon has authentic firing sound. They put a lot of effort into the fine detail. That's why I respect this product so much, right? And there you can see it. When it fires against the uh, the panel, you take damage. The Warthog literally takes damage and the weapon talks to you. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Thank you to Zoinks for sending us all that awesome footage. This is really cute. The packaging, you can see the entire packaging as a 2D net, which is really, really dope. I, I've not seen something like that before, particularly for uh, Halo merchandise. So really great to see that. And here's where it gets really exciting. This is the concept art 
for this vehicle. And it gives me some serious Halo 3 vibes. I don't know if anyone's ever seen the packaging for the Ruby's Master Chief costume for Halo 3. It reminds me of that a lot. And you will notice there is a chain gun on this because uh, I guess originally they were, when they were drawing up concept art, you probably would do a chain gun. Maybe the decision to make it into a Gauss hog was kind of last minute, I'm not sure. What hog 12 volt ERO, features two seater, 12 volt signature components, working headlights, engine startup and blaster sounds, augmented reality. Augmented reality might be the infrared, I'll have to check on that. Real working gun belt on blaster. And here's another one. This was like a further concept. Actual sketches with the measurements. It looks fantastic. It's so exciting to see something like this. Like this is what I want from things like Mega and Jazzware. They should be sharing concept art and sketches for sets months and months in advance. Like it should be a, a working relationship and I hope it will be one day. I love seeing that and the images are slightly different. Uh, the only main difference is that the set Second Warthog has a chain, maybe indicating that it was going to fire nerf bullets at one point, or a type of nerf bullet. It looks like a physical chain that would have fired uh, nerf. Maybe they moved to the infrared, the whole infrared concept, after they made the original sketch. And even shows the Warthog being mounted at the front. I guess that would make sense mounting it by the passengers so they could actually use it. But now it has a handle for the Gauss cannon, which I also like. Yeah guys, what, what do you think of all that? They are some really exciting images. Uh, it's so great to see behind the scenes and a look into this company. I love how transparent they're being. Kevin and I, Kevin being Halo Collector, will be attending HCS, the Halo Championship Series, and at the community stage, hopefully we'll be showing off this Zoinks Warthog. We're gonna have two for the event, and hopefully we're gonna help promote Zoinks at the event as well. And I also saw one of my good friends on Twitter, John, picked one up for his son, and they seem to have been having the coolest time with this thing. Currently, the Walmart listing for this product doesn't have accurate stock levels, but you can check using this UPC code. You can even scan this image if you're in store and maybe tell you uh, where a nearby store has it in stock. So that's a useful image for you to save. And I also wanted to show you this one image of the Master Chief riding uh, the little baby warthog from Fortnite. It kind of reminded me of that. Like, it's so cool to see that all of those pieces come separate. Like, you build this thing legitimately. Oh, look at that. The receiver for the infrared actually vibrates as well. I didn't realize that. And then that parts diagram exploded view. Just, that's so cool. Man. Folks, that about does it for today. And boy, howdy, I am very excited for the future. I'm I'm very excited to get hold of this product. I'm very excited to show it off at HCS and I'm very excited to one day, like I will legitimately mark my words on this channel. There will be a video one day of my child, as long as I have a child, driving that warthog. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. As I mentioned, please do fill out our survey down below. The sky's the limit with what they can produce and I'm really hoping that there's eventually some kind of exclusive limited edition, like maybe black and gold rock star warthog or anything like that. Like there's so many things we could do here. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Remember this Warthog is a Walmart exclusive dropping uh, round about now, but going to slowly come out over the course of the month. And the more attention this gets, the more response Zoinks gets from the survey. Likely there will be another restock of this Warthog and then in the future, maybe more products as well. See you next time, folks. The domain is signing off.